Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Maniac Monday. I am so happy to see each and one of your faces. I hope you're happy to see my ugly mug today. Um, first and foremost, I wish, uh, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, hopefully it was filled with fun and, and some joy and maybe a movie or two. Uh, hopefully they weren't duds. Because those the, that really sucks when you when you when you get yourself a, a really bad stinker of a movie. Now this week, um, I don't really have anything lined up that I would say is a stinker. I'm doing all films. I'm doing five films that are just random extreme films. Nothing that is an end all be all list. Uh, it's just just five random extreme films out of my collection. That's that's all it's gonna be, and um, they're gonna range in extreme. I tr I'm trying to do stuff that is a little more on the gore side. Um, so far, I got uh, two lined up that I'm sure you guys will really like. They actually came from the same label, which is uh, it just how however that that just happened to work. Um, Mostly because one of them I really, really wanted to review this week, and the other one was sticking out like a sore thumb and, and told me that it fits perfect for this week. Uh, as a matter of fact, I almost did the other title today, but I wanted to start out with this one. I wanted to start out with a bang because this is one of my favorites out of this week, and it is um, one that I, I highly suggest to uh, people with a strong stomach because it does get a little nasty in places. Uh, most of most of uh, my gore hound friends on here will more than likely uh, uh, scoff at it and say it's minor, but that's okay. You know, I'm not too much into the real gore aspect. Um, I do own real gore tapes. Uh, it's just it, it is what it is. I'm not big on it. It's just not my go-to. Uh, but I do like them once in a while. All right, all right, all right. Now today's movie it is a fun one. It fun. I don't know why I said fun. It is dark and grim. That's what I should say because it's it uh, uh, is a, f a documentary about a man that um, lived one crazy life and, and showed uh, the last few moments of it before before he before he passed away. Um, this one's from 2001, and it's starring Fräulein Orozco, starring, or directed by Surasaki Kirotaka. I'm sure I mispronounced both of those, but this is Orozco the Embalmer, yes. Um, this is the Massacre video release. Uh, it does have a reversible cover art, if, if I open her up here and... And show you there. That's the reversible. I didn't think it was quite as fun as, as the uh, one I'm using. Um, it's not quite as in your face. It does, however, come with a nice little poster in there. Um, one that I would like to frame up and put on the wall. Because it's kind of cool. Ernorosco. The Embalmer. Yes. Um, and he is. A, he was in... Um, Gosh, I forget which town in Colombia. Um, he says Bogota, but I don't. I thought it was a different part. Um, <coughs> either way, it came up through. He came up through a very hard, wretched time in there their their um history which is still going on a lot of the turmoil and and bad bad politicians that are ruining things and and lots of uh roving uh maniacs that are are damaging people and killing people and and doing horrible horrible things while they're doing it and so this this documentary basically it's it uh, uh, picks up it basically shows the last I want to last little bit of his life I think he they filmed a year a couple years to to do this maybe just a year I'm not a hundred percent either way it's it's very very good it's set in 1996 I believe is what year it said and then at one point I think it goes to 1998. Um, and that's when he passed away. Uh, 
I should have probably looked that up, but um, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's that's what makes my reviews so much fun. I feel like is I'm off the cuff and I'm not following any kind of script. I'm just being myself and just having fun talking about a movie. That's all it is. I, you know, it's just an opinion of mine. All right. So back to this one here. Um, it's going through a very turn. Very turbulent time in Colombia. Uh, Fräulein Orozco was um, a, uh, a policeman uh, in his earlier in his early career, and it was and he became a embalmer or I don't a uh, yeah an embalmer um, later in his life, but that he was um, so like I guess known in the neighborhood that he was constantly busy and plus it being such a, a terrible place with crime there was constant there's constant um, uh, uh, rotation of bodies coming in and unfortunately that's happening and so it goes through what he with his his limited um, uh, background in medicine his limited um, supply or yeah, supplies and tools he uses, which are very primitive, and it kind of is shocking and and scary in ways to know that this man is using these tools the way that they're used when they're basic things that we use um every day in our lives for the most part. Um, everything from using it looked like butter knives to um, but uh, very dull knives to um basically. Um, Popeyes into the places they want and and things of that nature and tuck skin and help move it around uh, and then they would use sharp knives for certain things um, they would go through the whole process of what it would take for him to embalm someone and it shows from beginning to end how fast it is and and the way he his style is he, he has it done in no time and the crazy thing is with the amount of the amount of money he makes for this, he makes it. They made it boiled it down to I think they said ten dollars a body, which is ten dollars American, which is not very much. Um, that's that's just insane to think that because uh, you go to a normal place here in uh, just Iowa and and they charge you out the wazoo just to just to um, do the embalming for for a funeral that's not counting everything else that they do like the the uh, casket um, the service the uh, um, the flyers everything like that you guys know what what um, uh, consists of a of a funeral I'm sure most of you have been to one or many in their lives and will be in in many more unfortunately um, and we'll also and we uh, end ourselves in a in a big party like that and and I hope each and every one of you guys have a have a, a, a drink or a fatty whatever it is you're doing uh, when I pass away hopefully I'm still doing reviews then and hopefully you guys are are very much in love with my content <laughs> I can't say that enough so please like share and subscribe you know that whole jazz I I try to throw that in there once in a while just because that's what all the other youtubers do I'm not getting paid for this and I doubt I'll ever get paid for this and that's not why I do this this is out of love um it like basically something to do that i i enjoy and i love talking film so much um and this this perf this film is perfect um i would like to to uh um suggest this one to all my gore files out there please do check this one out if you have not um if you have what do you think about this is it's pretty nuts it's one of those that I can't believe what I'm seeing type documentaries and the way they're so nonchalant about everything they do. Um, and like I said, the primitive tools he uses and the way he uses them and why he does certain things and um, 
the process of from head to toe it's just it's just it'll blow your mind compared to um what you'll see in a normal normal embalming now he doesn't like i said he doesn't he's just an embalmer he doesn't do any any mortician i, I think the mortician deals a lot more with the funeral part um or they're the same thing uh he doesn't perform autopsies he just uh uh gets them ready for the afterlife all right now i want to get on to my ratings for this film because it is so phenomenal um uh was it surasaki kuras kurataka um yeah i'm sure i murdered his name and i am very sorry it happens um he did a very, very, very good job making this film. I can't stress it enough. Um, he's he gets some interesting camera angles. Um, there's no such thing as a plot in this. It's it's just a straightforward documentary, of course. Uh, the music gets a little repetitive, and it. it it can get a little um, annoying if you're if you uh, if. Uh, I don't know, like one time I watched this, I found the music super annoying. I think it was just my mood I was in, but I still loved the film. Because I've seen it like three or four times now. I want to say four. And I love it more and more each time I watch it. Uh, so I'm going to give it a three on the technical side because it does have some hiccups. Um, the film grade is a little... A little grainy but that's okay that is perfect I'm glad they did because it fits perfectly with the content that lies within this um, if they would have cleaned it up perfectly it I feel like it would have been um, pointless I'm glad it was it was the they filmed it the way they did it, it gave it a lot more grit and grime um, so now let's roll over to the entertainment side now this is a very very good film like I've, I've said multiple times in this uh, you got interesting story one that um, keeps you uh, uh, I guess attent keeps your attention at a, a, a good you know it's it's a good steady pace it's it doesn't get boring at all um, it starts off good it, the beginning middle and end it uh, it never really has a dull part. It's always entertaining at some point in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be the real gore or or possibly something that one of uh, Orozco is saying or one of the strange individuals that, that is around his shop. Because there are a couple of people that they do interview that, uh, that know Orozco. Or at least... One of them, I think she's lying about knowing him. She claimed that he gave her money and blah, 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 blah. And she was this very haggard, wretched, old, homeless lady. And I, I felt sad for her. I felt really, really bad for this lady because because she just looked like like hell, you know. I mean, And who knows the last time she ever ate, you know, things like that. It was pretty rough to see. So I'm going to give this one a four on the entertainment side so we got a four and a three it's going to get a seven overall um i wished i could have gave it more but unfortunately it's just not one of those films i think is an up uh, it's upper tier uh for as far as extreme documentaries go i in my opinion but it is not a upper tier film that that re that reaches levels of like some of the films I watched last week. Each and every one of those had an amazing review. I feel like um, they didn't get very much attention, but that's okay. You know, I I honestly when I went into them, I knew it was just going to be an out of love project. <laughs> uh anyways, I have had a few responders on it, and I, I appreciate it and much love. Um. I'm going to go ahead and get the hell out of here and put that down. I hope each and every one of you have a great day. I may not be here tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, I got some big stuff going on tomorrow that I have to take care of and I can't miss. So um, I may not, may or may not be here tomorrow. I don't know. All right. Love your faces. Hope to see you when I see you.